Hey everyone, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com. Um, I've been doing a uh, series on how to create an abstract object and animate it. This is based off the uh, animation I did called Abstraction. You guys can go watch that video and get an idea of what we're working on. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This is the second part where we'll actually be animating it. So let's go ahead and get a floor. Go to our uh, abstract object here. I'm going to right click on it. Simulation tags. Um, rigid body. The floor is also going to need to get simulation tag. Collider body. Alright. Go ahead and uh, test this. Make sure it's working. Which it is. Um, now what I'm going to do is um, turn down the bounce on the um, simulation tags um, I'm turning them both down to zero and you'll see why in a second I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this all spiked like I did in the uh, animation so we'll go here explosion you're gonna drag this underneath the platonic or the abstract object whatever you wanna call it okay um, in size I'm gonna crank that up to about 80 and then uh, strength you can see here give it a spiked look by increasing the strength so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and animate the strength so from here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, control click this as you see it turns red and puts a uh, keyframe there so let's go ahead a little bit and spike it just two percent okay Play it okay the reason I turned bounce off is if I didn't when it spiked it would fly way up in the air and it just go crazy so you want to turn bounce down so it doesn't fly all over the place um, and then obviously we can insert another keyframe and then scroll ahead and then take the strength down and it and it'll go back to normal except for we need to insert a keyframe so there you go that's how I did the spiked part of it and then uh, I'm just gonna remove these keyframes now that I show you how to do that and then um, in in the video you'll see I animated it, it kinda snakes sorta like waves around so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. Um, open this up again and go to wind. Again, drag it underneath here. And you can see it's already kind of wiggling around here. So it just mess with these settings. Um, amplitude, increase it a little bit. Frequency, increase that quite a bit. And um, already you can see it's uh, wiggling around. So you can play with the settings as much as you want and get it looking just however you want. Um, and then once you want it to stop moving around, go ahead and um, control click on both those, scroll ahead, and then I'm just going to set these to zero. Alright, so it's wiggling around and then it stops. Anyway guys, that's everything I did as far as animation goes guys can play around and do what you want come up with something cool so anyway guys i'm out of here peace